certainly is the conventional wisdom that the, that the global financial crisis began in September 2008. I think it began quite a bit before then. Uh, everyone can have their own dating. For me, it was August 2007 when the flag dropped on the crisis. Uh, frankly, when uh, BNP Paribas closed its funds to, uh, uh, to uh, withdrawals from its uh, investors. I said, this, at that point, this is really, really serious. And one of the lessons was how long it took for the response, the official response, to gather the force that was necessary to begin to be effective. And to my mind, that is, explains the tenacity of the European authorities in trying to maintain the current structure, among other things, but most important, the fear that if some started to go, others would go, and actions would be taken that would unravel the single market that would be extremely difficult to put back together. I think it is folly not to suppose that letting Greece go is a very risky act that has potential systemic consequences. The situation in, in Europe uh, bears very close attention and it might be de-risked but a huge amount of financial error takes the form of supposing that dangerous situations have been de-risked simply because we've had a quite a while to think about them. It strikes me that heretofore, to a large extent, the reform efforts in the financial sector have been backward looking and inspired by the idea of we can't let that happen. Look at those bad things and we've got to make sure they can't happen again and less in terms of what, is the, what do we want the financial system to look like in the future, how are we gonna make it move there, and how are we going to structure our control mechanisms, our public policy mechanisms consistent with that. And so this is going to be, I think, a challenge for, for years to come. As Larry implied, there's gonna be a lot of structural changes in the financial system brought about by all kinds of things, including technology. Uh, that we have to think about what do we want to have happen? How are we going to make it happen? How are we going to ensure safety and stability? So I think if you look at the industrialized world as a whole, am I more worried about complacency and excessive lending? Or am I more worried about fear and insufficient lending? Right now I'm still more worried about fear and insufficient lending. If I look at what's happened to credit availability for U.S. households with average kinds of credit ratings in terms of their ability to get a mortgage, it has been interfered with much more than it probably should have been at substantial cost uh, to uh, the economy.